the building and we'll be in it by June 15th is our object. We'll see how it works out. Like uh, your brother-in-law said, God's in control. So we'll do the best we can to get it over with as quickly as possible. So you'll be out of the school and in the new building. What's she doing in the kitchen? She's measuring. <laughs> Too. You might see this uh, water valve manifold over here, big pipe sticking out of the ground. That is just part of the water lines that go through the project. It has about a $40,000 uh, tag, and so it's, it's extensive. And you can't see it, but over here behind these cars is a, a concrete vault, which has the uh, three-phase electrical in it that went uh, goes all the way down to Chevela School. Very interesting project. So. A lot of work has already been done. What's going to happen next? Starting as soon as next week, you know, Lord willing, and the rain doesn't come again, uh, we could actually start the footings. The, the pad in the building is actually going to be right in this area, between here and that tractor. We'll be facing the street, the front door. Parking will be along the street and out in that corner there. So uh, we're going to get started in earnest here very soon. 
The total building will be about 13,000 square feet. Uh, we'll have 14 classrooms, an auditorium that will seat 450, uh, offices, a fellowship hall, uh, all the things that go with it. We'll have uh, room outside to put volleyball courts, maybe basketball courts, and you know, things for the kids to do. So we look forward to doing that. And a baptistry, our own baptistry. Thanks to Tom and Dick and others who have used their pools and spas in the past uh, a couple of years. It's worked out great, but uh, we'll have our own right here. What I'd like to do is introduce to you some of the people who had a part in this project, uh, both inside and outside of the congregation. First of all, uh, Charles Brown, Charlie Brown, right here. Charlie, if you'd raise your hand and uh, acknowledge yourself up there. Charles Brown and Associates is our architect. When we first started out two, two and a half years ago, Charlie started with a blank piece of paper. And we asked for your input. You know, what do, what do we want to do here? What do we want to have? What layout do we want? And Charlie worked with us and he helped put us, uh, something together that made a lot of sense. And then he worked on the elevation. You know, what's it going to look like from the outside? Not something attractive, but nothing too expensive. You know, something we can afford. And he nothing came up with a, a beautiful design. So uh, he spent a lot of meetings with us and the building committee early on and did a lot of work, he and his team. So, Charlie, thank you. <laughs> then we had some civil en engineers, and the civil engineering group was Webb and Associates, and I don't see Jim Wordis, who's, Jim's not here, but Harold Mayberry is, and, and Harold is the one who uh, kind of headed this project up, along with Jim Wordis' help, maybe lead him some time. But, uh, this is Denise Burge's father, and so we have a contact. <laughs> and they were able to save us some money along the way because of that contact. We appreciate that very much. Also, uh, he is an elder at the Central Church of Christ in Riverside, which I work about a block away from. So we have some good ties here. So thank you very much. And then we couldn't quite raise all the money we needed, so we had to borrow some. And we have a bank represented here today that has been wonderful as far as working with us and, and putting this uh, the loan together, getting it approved, and seeing close contact. I'd like to bring those folks up here. Um, Bob Pavlik, Brian Day, and Darlene Thompson. If you can kind of work your way up here. Bank, and they have a division, uh, the Religious Lending Group, and you know, for a bank to have that is special in itself, because a lot of banks won't touch churches and, and restaurants and other certain types of business, because there's a certain amount of risk to it, but they identify the risk, and they uh, know what the risk is, they've done a lot of it, and uh, we qualify. So. <laughs> Money's in place. Their money's in place. We're going to sign documents this coming week, uh, coinciding with the start of the project. So we've been blessed by these folks, and, and we thank them very much. Now, and we're going to be shoveling some dirt here tonight, a real groundbreaking. And uh, part of those folks that are going to be doing that is uh, our building committee. And I want to introduce them to you. You know who they are. Uh, maybe. Well, you know who they are. <laughs> Ruth's husband, if you, and if you guys would come forward, uh, is Ruth, Kevin McGowan, Greg Burge, Larry Tarrant, Will Trapp. <laughs> Talk about family, these folks have become my near close family over the past couple of years. We meet uh, just about every Tuesday night, and uh, we take a couple, three hours and get together and solve the latest uh, problems and slay the latest dragons. And, and uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, there's some decision making and uh, some strategy that uh, has gone on. It's been good, and, and without these folks, it couldn't have happened. Because you have a brain trust here and some, a lot of experience that uh, has been, you know, very encouraging. They kept their eye on the ball all through this project, and. Beyond that, they kept their eye on Jesus, and you 
know, that's the, the real test. Without their faith and conviction, uh, they wouldn't be here. So I appreciate it, and, and thank you guys. And, you know, everybody here contributed in one way or the other, you know, whether it be raising money through bake sales and crafty ladies and car washes and who knows what else. Uh, everybody has done an extremely good job, and you haven't lost faith, and you, you've kept the, the spirit alive, so I, I appreciate that, too. We run into some, some stomach blocks and some problems, but, you know, here we are today, and it's, it's time to, to start, and time to the beginning of the end, almost. And then beginning to starting again because you know, Doug had a wonderful lesson today. Uh, this is a tool. Uh, it's not the end all, but it's going to help us to do what uh, the Lord wants us to do. So, with that, I don't want to dwell on, on the past. The future looks bright. There's a lot to be done. And I think this group and, and the ones who will be coming from the neighborhoods, uh, you know, we're going to grow. It's going to come from right around here. It's up to us. So, that's encouraging. I like, in spite of, the, Ruth says, in spite of the devil, that wasn't working hard, you know. He, a project like this, he doesn't want to see happen. And so he works extra hard sometimes. But uh, again, keep your eye on Jesus, it all works out. We're going to, in a minute, uh, grab some shovels, the building committee and the elders and, uh, and Doug Cole, and, and actually turn a spade. But uh, I'm going to have Doug come up and say just a few words. And, Speaking of elders, uh, you know, Tom and Dick have been invaluable too. Uh, we meet every Monday night, and, and they always are supportive and want to have me first and, and ask how it's going. And I can say fine. You know, but, uh, they uh, they've also been a big part of this, and I want to thank them as well. so far he's been here daily uh, you know keeping the, the job going and he's going to be here to keep her going from here but he's also uh, done a lot of work getting bids you know we, we have three and four bids from all of our subcontractor types and uh, he's sorted them out and, and talked to him and, and got them down in prices as far as he could and then Kevin came along and got him out a little bit further <laughs> and uh, so Steve's done a great job and uh, he's a big part of this project so we want to encourage him so, we appreciate it, Steve. Anything you want to say? <laughs> My construction life has changed. I now deal with people that are Christian from Monday to Sunday. <laughs> Just a few months ago, when we saw the tractor start, first start rolling through here, and start changing the topography of this land here. It was very exciting to see the changes start happening. The power of the machines was incredible as I stood here and watched those big earth movers just roll inches away from me. It's incredible to see the, the power of the machines, but even more, it's incredible to see the power of God at work. To take a handful of people and to start affecting the lives of a whole community. And we entrust, we trust that God is has great plans in store for his kingdom, in store for his church, in store for his community. And we dedicate ourselves today, and we dedicate this land to him and to his glory. That this might be a tool, this, this might be a lighthouse. That, As I spoke with the people interviewing me for the paper the other day, I told them we have a message to share with this community. It's exciting to grow with the community. It's exciting to be a part of this growth. But we have something to contribute to this community. We have something to give, and it's the message of Christ. It's the message of hope. It's the message of eternal life that this world needs so badly. And so we dedicate today this property and ourselves as God's family to be a lighthouse in this community, to be a force for good, to be examples and a picture of Christ. Would you pray with me as we pray over this land? Father, 
We are here today before you giving you thanks and giving you praise. Father, you are able to do whatever you desire to do. And with a group of people like us, Father, you can do amazing things. And we trust, Father, that you will do more than we can ask or imagine. Father, we're here today humbling ourselves before you, giving you all the praise and honor you deserve, and offering our lives, Father, as, as your subjects, as burnt offerings to you, as sacrifices to you that you might do with us as you will. Father, we dedicate this land to your glory. We pray, Father, that you would raise here a tool to be used to the glory of your name. We pray that you would touch this community with your presence, with your love, that you would use us, Father, as a blessing to this community. May this valley be blessed because of your presence here. May families be strengthened. May people know the joy of your presence. May, know the, may they know the peace of your security. May they know the hope of your salvation. Father, may your name be praised. Use us, shape us, mold us as you do this land and glorify your name. We pray this, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Doug. I don't know if you all know or not, Doug had surgery on his job. It's the wisdom teeth cold just Thursday. It's uh, just to be here today, let alone preach and teach. It's wonderful, so he's a trooper. Um, Dylan, come in if you turn around and grab a shovel. Elders, would you come and grab a shovel? Doug, you also? We're going to take some pictures. We're about done. We're going to take some pictures. And, and uh, there's a spot right here. That's the dirt that we're going to break. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ground right there. All this soft and moist. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Lord provided. The rain didn't yeah, right. We can actually dig into this ground now. <laughs> By the way, does anybody else want to say anything today? You got an open mic.
First of July, you'll be walking in that building. Oh, all right. All right. Amen. <laughs> Let's hope so. Yes. <laughs> I'll do everything I can to get you in there. Oh, we know that, Steve. And if I can build 34 houses in 90 days, I should be able to build one building in three, four months, five yes. months. Okay. All goes well. I know if it can be done, you'll do it. <laughs> She's going to break her cap. Have you taken all the pictures you're going to take? <laughs> I don't want to interrupt you. <laughs> no, no. It's all right. So <laughs> <laughs> man, they're trying to get to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
back to you. for the Murrieta Church of Christ, the future home, and that future is coming closer and closer. Uh, I'll never forget the day I drove by and Randy had been working on the lot and there was, uh, you could see where the entrance was going to be. And that was one of the biggest thrills that, that I had. I was driving by and I stopped cold. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Lord settled all the dust. <laughs> Anyway, this is this is such a great entrance and, and such a thrill. And before long, this is where we're going to be driving in. Now you can see the street now, so you can really tell where the entrance is. See, it's right right opposite the the street over there. You just come down that street and just drive on up and there's going to be so much parking that uh, you won't have to park in the street. What a view from here. We we're grateful for the rain so that we could uh, dig some dirt with our, our scissors. It would have been very hard. Uh, our scissors, yeah. <laughs> our shovels. Right, here's the entrance. This is what we'll do. Drive down Lincoln and make a left-hand turn right into here into our spacious parking lot and you'll enjoy all the trees. 